My name is uh, Giuseppe Coboni and I'm working in the Ruminant team in Animals Innovation. So in our department, we develop probiotics for livestock animals. When we develop our microbial solution for livestock animals, that meaning that our products need to work in the animal and need to give a better performance and health status of those animals. When we develop a new probiotics for livestock animal, we need to start to testing uh, that probiotics in vitro. Why we need to do that? Because we need to have a standardized way of testing those probiotics, meaning that we need to have the control of each parameter uh, that we are looking at. After doing this in vitro testing, where we will be able to mimic the different part of the GAT of the animals, might be the rumen or might be uh, the small intestine or the colon of uh, the different animals, we will get some information of our best uh, lead candidates that they might have an effect on uh, digestibility, improve on performance or improve the health status of the animals. Once we have finalized with that, we will pass to test those lead candidates in vivo. And it's even there that we need to show that our uh, probiotics will work in the real life with the uh, real animals. The Ancom RF gas production model is a well-known model for simulating the rumen of the animals. In this specific case, is the big stomach of a cow. How it works the model? So basically, each of these red heads represent one little animal, of course, in vitro. So we will have one bottle where we will incubate some feed stuff that we would like to evaluate. Might be a single ingredient, might be a TMR, might be a sample for our customer. Then we add the buffered rumen fluid, so mimicking exactly what will happen inside the cow. We will add or not our probiotic solution that we would like to test. Then we put the lid on and then we'll put in the incubator for several hours. What we will be able to measure with this model is evaluating the feed digestibility in terms of starch digestibility or fiber digestibility. And of course, we can record remotely with a laptop all the total gas produ produced during the fermentation. And we can also collect from here some gases and have specific gas analysis in that sample. What we will look in those specific gas analysis um, will be methane emission. And in this case, we will be able to measure the impact of, me, uh, of our probiotics on methane emission.